Namaste. Welcome to episode 5 of Flutter Complete App Tutorial Series. If you remember, in the last episode, we set up Firestory in our project and we were able to load and display data from Firestore database. In this episode, we are going to create a form and allow users to add new record to database. So let us get started. The very first thing I would like to do is in the notes home wizard, I like to add a floating action button, which will navigate us to our new page where we'll create our form. In the notes home dot dot file, after stream builder inside scaffold, pass the parameter floating action button, floating action button child and child should be icon. Let's say add on pressed. So in on pressed, we should, we should navigate to our add node space. So navigator dot who's named add node. In order for this to work, first we'll create our add node space. So inside pages add dot dot add node dot dot here import material and let's create a stateless wizard add node page give a app bar and it has a single child scroll view with a column that has a list of children finally in main dot dot we need to set up route so that push name when it calls this add note it should know which widget to load we can do that inside our material app we have a routes parameter routes parameter is a map so the key will be our route add node and the value will be a builder that gives context which we do not need and that returns a wizard that will be our add node page so this is how we can set up named routes now if we press the add button we are taken to add node page in the add node page let us now create form fills and buttons that will allow us to add notes detail first let us provide padding for single child scroll view. Padding of all sides, let's say 16 points. Now in the column, let us create our fills. Text field. Input decoration. Level text, let's say enter title let me duplicate this and let's make this enter description and let us make this multi-line max line let's say four let us separate these two widgets by size box of height 10 and again Here, separate by size box height 10 and let's create a button rest button child text save on press for now let's just keep it empty so when you press this save button it should save this node to database so first let me convert this to a stateful wizard it will give us an error. Let's go back and load it again. Okay. And let us create controllers for our text field. Text editing controller. Title controller. Description controller. 
and let's create a global key for our scaffold scaffold state init state in here title controller is new text editing controller and description controller is new text editing controller also let us create description focus node so that from through keyboard action we can focus description fill from title field we'll see that later how focus node description node focus node and here let us assign our controller title controller and description description controller and focus node description node when we tap the save button we'd like to do few things first if title editing controller dot text dot is empty if it is empty return we do not like it to save we'd like to show a message so key dot current state so this is a scaffold keys for a scaffold state so current state dot so snack bar snack bar content should be let's say title is required okay so if we press save now let's go back and load it again let's see if we have some errors displaying here debug console okay we have an error text was called on null title controller this is not null let's say let's go back let's hot restart once restarted let's add this okay still it's saying receiver sui snack bar was called a null oh, okay so we have not applied this key to our scaffold so key underscore key now let me clear this okay now we get a message title is required if we enter title and press save there is no message so if title is not empty, we would like to create a new note object from title and description. Note is equal to note title title controller dot text description description controller dot text and created at is date time now and finally user id provider of user repository context dot user uid so now we have our note object and if you remember from previous tutorial here in notes home we are using a database service class a generic class to load data so notes tv we have created notes tv and we are using this to load data so we'll use the same notes tv to create data so notes tv dot create item note oh wait let's make this async 
Alright, and if there is no error, key dot current state dot snack bar snack bar content text not saved successfully. Finally, we are ready to clear our fields. So title controller dot clear controller dot clear. So after adding the node to the database, we can either navigate back to the list page by doing navigator dot pop or we can just show the message, clear the description and title and stay on this page. So for now we'd like to stay on this page. So let me add a title, new note from app and in description this is the note created from app and let us press save. We are getting an error. So could not find the correct provider user repository. So it could not find the user repository. Let us check main.dart. Are we providing provider? No. So home page. So we are providing the provider in our home page. What we'd like to do is so copy this and remove this from here so in home page there is only consumer and in main.dart let us wrap it with new widget and this new widget will be our change notifier provider let us import user repository and also import provider package. So let us now hot restart and go to add new note from app is a note from app. Now if we press save it should save in the database, not save successfully and our fields are cleared. And if we go back now, we can see new node from app in the list of nodes. So I like to add few more things in this form to make it more easier for users. First thing I'd like to do is in the intertitle, this button should so next this keyboard button should so next instead of check so that when user presses this button user can highlight the next field we can do that by using this focus node and here we use first we give text input action So that will be next and editing complete. So when editing is complete, what we would like to do is focus scope of context dot request focus description node. So when user presses that button, we like to focus the description node. So now if we press on the title field, we see there is a next button. And when you press this next button, the next field is highlighted. So this is how we can use focus nodes to make forms more easier to navigate. Next, in the save, if there are no errors, what we'd like to do is, we'd also like to hide the keyboard if there is any by doing focus scope of context dot request focus 
new focus node. Okay, so now if we see another node. So I think we'd like to hide the keyboard only when the note is successfully saved in the database. Now if we press save, yes, the note saved successfully and the keyboard is hidden. Instead of doing this, what we can also do is if notes is saved successfully, we can just do navigator dot pop. That way we'll be directed back to our list space. So if we test now, navigates home page. So if we press save now, when it is saved, it navigates back to the home page. And this has no meaning. So we can hide this too. Thank you everyone for watching this tutorial. This is how easy how easy it is to add new nodes in the database. In the next episode, we will learn to update existing records in the database and delete any existing records. See you next time.